Today I want to talk about, you know, we've been getting a lot of queries from people with the onset of Diwali and then we have Christmas and we have the festive season and weddings all coming. You know what I've realized over the last couple of years is people stop with their workout regime. People stop with their exercise just because it's the festive season. And I know this trend because people say, hey, Luke, you know, we'll come back to you after Diwali. We'll come back to you in the new year. We'll come back to you after Christmas. We'll come back to you after the wedding season. What we really need to change more than diets and more than exercise is our mindset. You know, over the years, we formed this mindset that the last three months of the year in India is full of weddings and festivals. So when we form this mindset, we accept the fact that we must stop looking at our food. We must stop looking at our workouts. Our mindset designs us to fail. Our mindset designs us to change our behavior from active to sedentary, from watching our food to going completely out of control. Now, my point is, of course, we must enjoy the wedding season. We must enjoy Diwali. We must enjoy all the festive seasons, your religious se your festivals and all of that stuff, including Christmas and New Year. But my point is, how can we enjoy it without completely falling off the bandwagon? Why must we stop eating well? You want to eat Diwali sweets? Eat it. But why must you stop exercising? You have a lot of parties throughout the week, go for every one of those parties. But what stops us from missing our 30 minute workout or our one hour workout or our 20 minute workout or our yoga class or our pranayama or our meditation? What stops us from that? You see, when we go through the wedding season, we go through Diwali or Christmas or whatever, there are events, there are functions in the evening. We still have control over our breakfast. We still have control over our lunch. We still have time to go to the gym. But because we hold on to this mindset that we'll only start getting healthy after the festive season, this mindset is destroying us. In force, most of our diabetics, most of our high cholesterol patients, most of our weight gain issues, our patients start loading up in Jan or Feb. And all of this could have been prevented if we treat the last three months of the year just as we do with every other month. No one is stopping you from enjoying the festive season. All we're trying to do is have a normal day, party at night, do what you want, eat what you want if you have to. But what about the other meals in the day? Can you control those meals? Can you eat well? Out of three meals in a day, can you get two good meals? If one of those meals you want to let loose and enjoy what you want. So everything finally comes down to the mindset that you hold. So we have to change that mindset right away. There are so many things that you can do through this festive season. Like I said, you don't have time for a one hour workout, do a 30 minute workout. You don't have time for a 30 minute workout, do 15 minutes. You don't have time for 15 minutes, do Tabata. That's T-A-B-A-T-A. YouTube it, it's a Japanese system of working out, gets over in four minutes. If you don't have time for four minutes, well, all I can say is more than a diet and exercise program, you need time management classes and you need a new attitude to go with that. So where there's a will, there's a way, but because we've all conformed to this festive season mindset, we all automatically stop doing. We don't have a mind of our own. We start following the herd mentality of everyone thinking the same way about the festive season and everyone relaxing their exercise, procrastinating their diets and everything else, thinking that, oh, I'll start in Jan. Well, let me tell you right now, from our data over the last 10 years, every new year resolution fails. Everyone who has the vision to start off with their health in January 2019, 20, 21, or whatever it is, they fail. They are boosted with motivation and they fail within one to two to three weeks, if not less. So the idea is instead of having all these fancy long-term goals and new year and resolutions and all of that stuff, start with today, start with tomorrow. And Diwali, take a break, take a break for two days, take a break for three days if you want, but get back on track. What we must never do is understand that we take the human body for granted. And the human body needs some amount of movement every day, some amount of good food every day, the right amount of rest, and of course, relaxing and taking care of our stress levels. What makes it so difficult for us to give this little to our body, no matter how many weddings or festivals you have? So when we change our mindset, we can motivate people to do everything, but motivation is useless unless the person changes their mindset. So this year, there's no mindset. There is a festival season. We are all looking forward to enjoying it, but not at the cost of giving up our workouts, not at the cost of eating worse. Okay, you may eat out of your framework of good foods, but you can still eat the right foods that you have to. You'll have late nights, 
Fine, you'll compromise sleep, you'll be sleep deprived. What about the other nights? Can you get that into place? But by you forming a mindset that the festival season is let loose, you're gonna be sleep deprived on all nights because your mindset's changed and you let loose completely. So my whole point about it, there are no tips. We're gonna see the usual social media crap about what to do before Diwali, what to do after Diwali, all of that fails. What can you do every single day? Can I give my body the right movement, the right sleep, the right exercise, and feed trillions of cells what they need? So guess what? You feel good, you feel fit, and you feel healthy to enjoy the Diwali season and the festive season even more. There's no point having festival seasons if you're sick, if you're lethargic, if your immunity's crashed, you have no energy levels to dance at night, and you know, all of that stuff. So let's keep it simple, let's keep it logical, and let's keep it balanced. Every day is a new day that you get as an opportunity to invest in your health, in your immunity, and in everything else. If you were taking three months out of the year and giving yourself a man-made mindset called a holiday to binge and to do all of this crap, you've just, you've just wasted basically 30, 60, 90 days of opportunity which you could have invested in your body that will keep you going for a long time. So it's up to you. Find out the way. The successful people will find a way to enjoy themselves to the max without compromising their health. Enjoy themselves to the max by doing at least 20% of the right things, 20% of the right things in a day. Your workout, your food, your water, and all of those things. It comes down to that. Everything else is a poor, lame excuse. Everything else is your mind consoling you, the wrong crowd of people and friends telling you to let loose. One thing we need to know, and I always tell this to people, okay? If you are surrounded by friends who make you do things which are not good for your health, number one, you need to understand they're the wrong friends. You should be surrounded by friends who, where you can have a great time, but you also look after your bed, your health, emotionally, mentally, physically. Those are the right friends. If you're surrounded by friends who keep telling you that, oh, you know, we live only once and do this and do that, you should understand that they are emotionally weak. You know, they can't do what they need to do, so they don't want to see anyone doing it. They can't take care of their own health, so they want other people to fail with their health. And this is the wrong company for your children, for your teenagers, for you, for everyone because you become who you hang out with the most. So now you have a mind of your own, you design your own mindset and you enjoy the festive season coming up. Have a great day everyone, until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right and breathe deep.